Hi, I'm Kaname. Today I'm going to talk about adjectives that are used to express feeling or emotion. Do you know that when you use adjectives to express your feeling, you need to mention the object using the particle ga? For example, if I want to say I'm scared of ghost, I will mention the ghost using particle ga. Watashi wa yurei ga kowai desu. If I say I'm worried about my son, I will mention son using particle ga. Watashi wa musuko ga shinpai desu. So when you're using those adjectives, no matter if it was e adjective or na adjectives, when you use adjectives that describes your feeling or emotion, you need to use particle ga to mention the object. So today I'm going to introduce to you adjectives that is used to describe your feeling or emotion. The first one is ski or daiski. When you want to say I like you, you will say watashi wa anata ga ski desu. Or you can say watashi wa anata ga daiski desu. Anata wa sushi ga ski desu ka? Hai, watashi wa sushi ga ski desu. But there's one thing I need to mention. When you mention the object as topic, then you need to use the topic particle wa to mention the object. So I can also say, Sushi wa suki desu ka? Hai, sushi wa suki desu yo. Ramen wa suki desu ka? Ramen wa amari suki ja arimasen. There are also words like, kirai or dai kirai. Atashi, uso o tsuku hito ga dai kirai. Watashi, ninjin ga kirai desu. There's a similar word, iya. Iya is used to express your feeling of disgust or something that I cannot tolerate. So let's compare these two sentences. Mushi ga kirai. Mushi ga iya. If I just say mushi ga kirai, that means I don't like bugs, insects. And just I don't like them. But if I say mushi ga iya, if I use the word iya, it gives feeling that I'm disgusted. Gives you feeling that I cannot tolerate those insects. If I say kare ga kirai, I'm just stating I don't like him. But if I say kare ga iya, sounds like I cannot tolerate that person. I don't want to be near him. Maybe I was disgusted by him or maybe I'm traumatized by him. But anyway, he's something that I cannot tolerate. That's the feeling it gives. You use word nigate to say something that you are not good at. Well, when you talk about your weakness. Say, if I'm a tough guy, I'm a warrior, I'm very strong, but I'm scared of a spider. It's not that I just weak. No, I'm not weak, but spider is my weak point. In this situation, I can say, watashi wa kumo ga nigate desu. If I'm scared of dogs, I would say, watashi wa inu ga nigate desu. It's different from I don't like dogs, but for some reason, dog scares me. I feel uncomfortable being with dogs. So, sumimasen, inu wa kirai janai n desu ga nigate desu. You can say like that. When people talk about what they don't like to eat, people also use the word nigate. Watashi wa ninjin ga nigate desu. Especially when you talk politely, people tend to use nigate, not kirai. If I say, watashi wa ninjin ga kirai desu, it sounds a bit disrespectable for those people who like carrot. So when people talk politely, people tend to use the word nigate, not kirai. Watashi chotto sports ga nigate nan desu. Watashi e o kaku no ga nigate nan desu. You can use the word kowai to describe your scared feeling. Watashi wa yurei ga kowai desu. Watashi wa shinu no ga kowai desu. But kowai can also describe the thing that scares you. Yurei wa kowai desu. Shi wa kowai desu. So this word can be used both way. Watashi wa tsuma ga kowai desu. Or I can say, tsuma wa kowai desu. There's a similar word, osoroshi. The difference is, osoroshi sounds more scary. Just like in English, you say, horrified. I'm scared of the ghost, or I'm horrified by the ghost. Watashi wa yurei ga osoroshii desu. Watashi wa shinu no ga osoroshii desu. You can also use the word osoroshii to describe something that is scary. 
。幽霊は恐ろしいです。死は恐ろしいです。私の妻は恐ろしいです。When you are worried about something, you can use the word 心配。ああ、娘が心配だ。もう8時なのにまだ帰ってこない。But there's a verb version of 心配 that is 心配する。Usually used as 心配している。Then, what is the difference between just say 心配 and 心配している ?First, when you use 心配している、it's transitive verb. So use particle or to mention the object. 私は娘を心配している。But people don't usually say 私は娘を心配している。It sounds a little bit weird. That is because you use ている form to describe a state objectively. When you want to just express what you feel, you just use adjective form. I'm worried about my daughter. When I want to express what I feel right now, I will just use an adjective describing what I feel right now. 娘が心配です。But if I'm describing someone, for example, my wife is worried about my daughter. My daughter calls me. Sorry, I was having dinner with my friend. I will tell my daughter. お母さんすごく心配してるぞ。早く帰ってこい。To describe that her mom is worrying about you. So the difference is when you just use adjective. You're just describing what you feel right now. But when you use teiru, it's more about objectively describing state of someone worrying about something. お母さんお前のこと心配しているぞ。姉はずっと弟のことを心配していた。You can also describe state of yourself objectively, especially when you're describing that you were worrying about something in the past. If I tell my daughter, I was worrying about you. I can say, お前のこと心配してたんだぞ。Because I'm describing me in the past, it's not what I feel right now. So I can still use ている form to describe what I felt before. There's also words like, うらやましい。This word also can be used as verb, うらやむ。Same thing can be said. If I just want to say, I'm envious of something, I will say, 何々がうらやましい。彼がうらやましいな。田中さん年収1億円だって。田中さんがうらやましいな。It is weird for me to say, 私は田中さんをうらやんでいる。But you can use うらやんでいる when you describe someone is envious of something. 田中さんは吉田さんをうらやんでいる。So the point here is, some adjectives that describes your emotion also have verb form. People use verb form with ている when they are describing someone's state objectively. You can also describe your state using ている form, but you use that mainly when you are describing state of your past self. There's also similar word like netamashi. Netamashi is like jealous of. Netamashi also has a verb form, netamu, also can be used likewise. When you use adjective like ureshi, you can also mention the object using particle ga, like, Kareshi ga watashi no tanjobi o oboite ite kureta no ga ureshi. You can say like that, but when you use word like ureshi, kanashi, people usually first state the event that occurred. Then say your feeling. 彼氏が私の誕生日覚えていてくれた。本当に嬉しい。友達がお土産くれた。嬉しい。So this form is more common when you use word like 嬉しい。悲しい is the same. I can say, 実家の猫が死んだのが悲しい。People usually don't say like that. People would say, 実家の猫が死んだんだ。ああ、悲しい。So, say the event first, then mention your feeling afterward. That's a more common way to use those words. The same thing can be said when you say, Sabishi. By the way, Sabishi is the official reading, but you can also say, Samishi. Either way is fine. Sabishi describes the feeling of loneliness. For example, you're divorced. When you go back home, realize that there's no one in your house. 家に帰っても誰もいないのが寂しい。But also in this kind of situation, same as 嬉しい and 悲しい、people would more often say, 
家に帰っても誰もいない。寂しいな。By the way, what is this? なあ。寂しいな。羨ましいな。心配だな。なあ is used when you express your feeling or emotion to yourself. It has a feeling of I'm not talking to you, but I'm just stating something to myself. はあ、心配だな。はあ、羨ましいな。For example, I can say, ビールが飲みたい or ビールが飲みたいな。The difference is, when I say this to you, ビールが飲みたい I'm conveying this comment to you, I'm talking to you. But if I say, ビールが飲みたいな、I'm talking to myself. ビールが飲みたいな。ビールが飲みたいな。誰か買ってくれないかな。もし誰かがビール買ってくれたら嬉しいな。So that is the usage of な。悔しい is used to express your regrettable feeling or feeling of defeat.You failed at exam.You regret if I have studied harder, I would have passed exam. 試験に落ちたのが本当に悔しい。試合に負けたのが本当に悔しい。When you are embarrassed, you can use the word 恥ずかしい。私は人前で話をするのがちょっと恥ずかしいです。ああ、昨日酔っ払ってバカなことした。本当に恥ずかしい。ああ、昨日酔っ払ってチカちゃんに変なメールを送っちゃった。本当に恥ずかしい。You can also use particle がと mention the object when you use words like つらい、きつい、しんどい。つらい and きつい is used when you encounter things that are hard to tolerate or something that mentally or physically painful. I can say, 仕事がつらい。仕事がきつい。To say, ah, working is so hard, hard to tolerate and it's painful. しんどい is more like tiring. 仕事がしんどい。It's like, ah, working is so tiring. So, for example, if I say, my girlfriend dumped me. And if I say, つらい or きつい I'm maybe talking about mentally intolerable. Ah, she dumped me. It's so hard to accept this. In this case, you can say, 精神的につらい精神的にきつい精神的 means mentally. But if I say, しんどい It means that it's so tiring. Oh, she dumped me. It's so tiring. So it has different feeling. You also use particle ga when you talk about sensation, like itai, kayui, shibireru. Ah, tama ga itai, kubi ga kayui. In this situation, you also use particle ga to mention the part you feel. People usually don't use particle wa when they mention the part they feel the pain or itchy. People don't say, 頭は痛いです。首はかゆいです。It's weird. You can also use the verb, しびれる like that. When you eat some Sichuan ma la stuff and your tongue feel numb, people will say, 舌がしびれる or 舌がしびれた When you were sitting too long and your legs feel numb, 足がしびれた When you want to say, I want something, you use the adjective hoshi. When you use the word hoshi, you also mention the object using particle ga. Tanjobi, nani ga hoshi? Mmm, switch ga hoshi. Ah, o kane ga hoshi na. You can also use particle ga when you use Thai form of transitive verb. Biru ga no mitai na. Sushi ga tabetai na. But you need to be careful. You use ga only when you use Thai form of transitive verb. When you want to say, Oh, I want to go to Disneyland, you don't say, Watashi wa Disneyland ga ikitai na. You cannot say that. Because iku is intransitive verb. So you mention the destination using particle ni or e. Disneyland ni ikitai na. Words like au is also the same. You don't say, kare ga aitai na. You need to say, kare ni aitai na. So you need to be careful about this. So the last word I'm going to introduce to you is, koishi. Koishi has meaning like miss in English. I miss you. I miss her. But 
People usually don't use this word when they say, I miss you. Then when do they use this word? People usually use this word when they want to say, oh, I miss some food. I miss my homeland. I miss my past. When I was in the US, I missed sushi so bad. So I would have said, Sushi ga koishii na. Or I can also say, Okaasan ga tsukutta ryori ga koishii na. Or if I miss Japan, I can say, Nihon ga koishii. Now I'm in Japan. If I want to say, I miss those times when I was in America, I can say, Amerika ni ita jikan ga koishii. People usually use koishi like that. When they want to say, I miss someone, they don't usually use the word koishi. I miss you, babe. Uh, pe Japanese people won't say, Anata ga koishi yo, babe. Ah, uh, nah. What do people use when they want to say, I miss someone? People usually use the word aitai. Calling a girlfriend. Yoko, omae ni aitai yo. Papa, papa ni aitai. So in Japanese, when people want to say I miss someone, you use the word aitai, not koishi. I mean, you can use koishi. It's not you cannot use. It's just that people usually don't use this word when they want to say they miss someone. There is also a verb version of this word, koisuru. Koisuru is different from koishi. You use koisuru when you are in love with someone. I'm in love with Tanaka. Watashi wa Tanaka ni koishiteru. Ototo wa Miki-chan ni koishiteru. To say someone is in love with someone. So the verb form koisuru is different from the meaning of koishi. So that's it for today. Minasan ga koishii desu. Ya. Yeah.